back to my channel. My name is Gabby Paglia and today I'm going to be doing a Gymshark try on the haul. So just a quick disclaimer, I did not need any of these things with the exception of like probably a couple pants because I'm running a little low on those but you know what I did. I shopped the winter sale. Half of these things anyways are mostly duplicates like I got two slightly different pairs of brown leggings and stuff like that so i just wanted to see the slight difference in detail like what i liked better because i can't tell online i have about 12 items for you guys from gymshark and i'm going to be trying them on i say we just get right into it and i'm just gonna start grabbing from the pile and if you're wondering like sizing and everything normally i'm a medium and everything with the exception of tops if tops fit me like a little tighter up here i will get a large just to size up for you know my girls the first thing we have today these are black biker shorts i couldn't really tell you the exact name of them i just bought them because they were seven dollars i don't know if you can tell but it has like on the side there's this kind of stitching to i guess contour your leg and gymshark label is running down the side right there on the front then on the back big gymshark logo on the band this band is very thick it's not very stretchy, which I honestly kind of appreciate because I don't want to be pulling up my leggings all the time. They just have a cute little stitching on the bottom. I probably will be rolling the pants up or scrunching them up. I'm just not a fan of long shorts. Like why? Just wear leggings. They're comfortable. I mean, they're just black. Like there's nothing to really say about them. That's what the back looks like. They are squat proof, by the way. I tested them out. I don't know. I mean, this is like a normal, Fit I'd wear to the gym anyway so I think it's nice I mean it's not something to go run home and tell everyone about but I do like the Gymshark logo right here I don't even know if you can see it but it's like the texture of it's like gummy almost I also just want to say to everyone if you do end up like rolling them they are cutting my circulation off rather fast like I've had them on for like about five minutes and I can't do it. So I think scrunching them, if you want them to be a little shorter, is the way to go. Now the way I have my like camera set up, I can't like make my tripod higher. So it's kind of hard to like see the bottom of the pants where they cut off. I'm on my tippy toes and they're still like, you can't see the bottom. There's no end in sight. They're actually leggings, I lied. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not a fan of like the length of them, but that's my own fault. The next thing I ordered was a sports bra because I'm in desperate need of those. I've never bought any bras from Gymshark, so I'm very excited to try this. This is in the color Firefly. It feels really nice, and yes, I was right. It does have a little bit of ruching in the front. And then there's a little sheer fabric on the back right here. Adjustable straps have our iconic Gymshark logo right there. This does have padding in it. I don't know if you can actually tell. So I'm excited to try this on. I have high hopes for this. Now this next thing I got are another pair of biker shorts. I got these to kind of go with and match the yellow neon sports top so I can look like a full on highlighter at the gym. Normally, this is not a color I would like go to. I I don't know. It just screams like obnoxious look at me. I think this is from an, some sort of animal print collection. They are a lot longer than the black biker shorts I showed first. Again, it has a very thick band, not too stretchy. It does have a little ruching on the butt of it, which I'm normally like not a fan of, but it's really small, so maybe it won't even make that much of a difference when I have it on, but we'll find out. And then the same stitching on the bottom as the black biker shorts. I'm gonna try these both on together and then give you my opinions on both of them separately and then as a whole, like, together. Now that I have my little neon highlighter outfit on, hold on. I like it. I think I did a pretty good job with, like, matching these two colors up that weren't sold together. I think they look fine. I just have a complaint about these fucking the length of the pants like why do we go down to here doesn't that look stupid i love this thick band right here makes my butt look good the ruching on this actually i don't mind it because i don't even feel it or notice it so i'm okay with it but i'm gonna show you guys the sports bra now i'm not gonna lie it's not my first time putting on the sports bra i've had it on like a couple hours because i wore it yesterday sports bra is not an official like first impression but 
I'll tell you my thoughts. Again, this was a size medium. This I did not size up in. And I'm kind of feeling like I should have. It's probably not much of a difference to you guys, but like I've felt these straps sticking into me. I just feel like, I don't know. It could be, I should have got like a large. It's That's just my problem because the bra itself I actually do like it has a nice ruching in the front my girls are nice and secure and then in the back we have that little detailing right here a little bit sheer i think this is a cute fit besides my fucking fat sticking out but i like the crisscross the crisscross surprisingly doesn't bother me i probably also do need to adjust the strap so i think once i you know play around with that maybe it'll be better but i feel like I maybe should have just gotten a large sports bra, but I like this fit. It looks very nice. Next thing is a pair of leggings. These little detailing stripes of two different browns in it. And then they kind of have a little stitched cuff at the end. I thought these were cute when I saw them online because I don't own any brown or neutral leggings, much less Gymshark leggings. So I wanted to give them a try. I so desperately wanted to buy their neutral line which I don't think they even have anymore. I think that was like a limited time thing, but this kind of reminded me of that. So I just wanted to give it a shot, see how I liked it. I'm gonna show you the difference in color between these and the other brown. These give me more like cherry cola vibes. This is like brown and dark brown, but I like both of them in their own respect. I think for different occasions, definitely. I like the way these fit a lot better though. They're not as soft as those, but they feel like more fitted. They're not like squeezing me, but they're a lot thicker. I do appreciate the high waist and the cut of these a lot. I really do like the color too. I think they look great with the black top. The back, I think they're seamless. So there's no like little butt crack line. And I did, as always, have extra room to pull them up, so they are pretty long for how tall I am. They feel good. I didn't think I was entirely gonna like the fabric on here, like the two different browns, but I don't mind it. And it's something different than just a plain solid color. They do, however, have seams running down like from the cooch to the inside of the leg and ankle, but that's fine. I think they look cute. So these, another pair of leggings, they have the little like dots or whatever you want to call them on the side to contour the legs same thick strap these are like a bright orange color and they have the contouring dots going all the way down to the calves and then on the bottoms as well not really an orange girl for the gym i don't know but something about them i just feel like i'm really gonna like them and Orange, honestly, goes with a lot more than you would expect, so I think it's just time for me to, like, stop going to the blues and the grays and the blacks that I always get and, like, actually have some color. Have some fun in the gym. Be more suitable for summer, obviously, but why wait? Just go for it. Act like it's summer. It's always hot girl summer anyway. Now these. I'm fucking with these, too. I'm rocking with them. Slightly different color than Miss Tumor. These feel like the generic, like what I would usually expect out of gym leggings. And it's not a bad thing. Like I'm okay with like how this fits and everything. Because I am also only five foot two, there's a lot of extra fabric. Well, first of all, I pulled them over my Batman socks. So they're not like under those, but there's still a lot of extra fabric right here. I don't like how, I don't even know if you can see, but if I stand further apart, it makes like a little box in my cooch and then it kind of scrunches up and I don't like that but I wish they were a little more tighter because even if I pull them up more first of all I'm not wearing my pants all the way up to my tits that's the only complaint I have about these other than that I love the thick strap I love the color they fit great I think they look nice it's a subtle difference from the other ones but different enough to make a whole different look so I really like them they're cute now this I believe are oh, they are really soft these are the seven eighths length leg. Oh my god, can I speak? The seven eighth length leggings. Oh my god. Essentially, they just cut off at like ankle length. I know they're black, but they didn't have any other color other than black. And I wanted to try them out because I used to have a pair of these Nike Pro leggings, like similar to these cut. And they don't fit me anymore because I got them like a long time ago. Like I, I think when I was in high school and I wore them up until 
like freshman or sophomore year of college i don't know how they still fit i was like squeezing myself into them these remind me of them and they're really soft like compared to the other leggings these are more of like a um i don't want to say dry fit but it, it's like that silky smooth material i think these are seamless in the front like in the crotch part but they look like that just basic black and then in the back it kind of has a contouring band right here there you go little v-shape the seven eighths leggings let's talk about them so this is what they look like on they feel so fucking smooth like butter i'm not even kidding they do come down to about a little bit below my knee and i don't mind it because they're not shorts they're leggings they were a little difficult to get on my body so they were very reminiscent of my old nike ones so this is a perfect replacement <laughs> but they're nice though like i don't feel like I'm lacking anywhere. They just feel very smooth. Like I just put on leggings and I'm ready to go. Um, I think I will stand on my bed just so you can see like where they stop. They stop around right here where I said. I think they look good. Again, they're just black, so it's nothing special. They do roll down a bit because there's not like a thick band up here. So, I mean, if you're sitting and standing a lot, that's something to be aware of. But other than that, I think they're fine. That's what the back of them looks like. Just simple. Also, I do wanna make note, cause I'm sure everyone's wondering, are they squat proof? Because they're very thin. They actually are squat proof because I did a little test in my mirror. I, listen, they're worth my money. They're working for me. So this is the other pair of brown leggings that I was looking at. And these, I like this color a lot better. They're the same texture as the 7 eighths. I really love the color. Like this is the color I was looking for. I just, didn't know if these were the seamless ones i think i can't fucking tell like i really can't because they have a seam running down right here and then down the leg i don't know if that's just like gym sharks style another thing that really made me get these specific leggings is just the band right here the bands on these leggings are a lot looser than the previous pairs but i don't feel like they're gonna fall down still i mean we'll have to squat test them definitely but in the back, it's the same as the 7 eighths leggings. It has that little arrow shape. So now we have Miss Cherry Cola. Oh my God, look at her. Right off the bat, I'm in love with this color. This is exactly the color I was looking for. So she gets like 10 points for that. When I was putting them on, I was like, uh, 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 like they were so hard to get on. I think the payoff's worth it. I mean, I don't mind the like little seam of fabric right here. My butt's just like not all the way in the middle seam of the pants, but that's what they look like. They're very cute. Yeah. I don't know as I'm looking at this right now if this gives me a camel toe because I cannot see. Actually, I still can't see. The light's too bright. I love them. Like, I'm not gonna lie. They are really nice. Are you surprised? You shouldn't be. It's another pair. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It, I mean, it's black, but this is... I thought I got another pair of leggings, and I was like, bitch, did you not check your cart? This is the tank top, or the, like the muscle tank kind of top I was talking about. This I did end up getting in the size large. Everything else so far has been a medium. A lot of the reviews did also say not only was it tight, but it's just a very long fitting top which i actually appreciate i don't like going to the gym in cropped shirts because my fat just hangs over the side it's just a basic thing um there are little like i don't know if they're cutouts but if i stick my hand through here you could probably see if there's little holes in the center i guess it's just for like detailing but i feel like i wouldn't have to wear a bra underneath this and that's like my main thing i don't like to have extra shit going on like i don't like to layer up i want a one and done on the back it's the same kind of detailing up here but it does have a little peekaboo hole in the lower back. I'm gonna try it on without a bra and with a bra so you can kind of like get a feel for the difference. Okay, now this top, this top, I definitely do fuck with. This, and I, I will change the pants, I'll put on different pants, but this makes me look very like, shh. So I see what people mean about this top being a little extra long, but I like that. That's just my personal preference. It fits very nice on me. Just keeping in mind, I don't have a bra on right now. This is just like bare and I think it looks nice. I feel like I could run in this. Not that I'm going to. It looks really good. It feels very comfortable. I can move. I'm not very tight. So this was the large top and I'm happy I got the large because I could only imagine with like a sports bra under it. And then the keyhole in the back. I haven't looked at her yet, but she's very cute. Little pop of like 
sexy. I really do like it. I'm very happy I bought this. This was actually one of the things that was not on sale because I had it in my cart for a few days and it was down like, I think 30%, but then for whatever reason, it went back to original price. I'm fine with paying full price for this because it does the job. I don't feel like I'm gonna go anywhere. I think it looks nice. It's a staple top. I can wear this when I go out. Like she's cute. Now I'm gonna come back and put a sports bra on and show you the difference. So I just threw on the one that matches these shorts. I personally, I don't really like that. You can see it through here and it does kind of like cut into my side boob slash arm fat right here. I don't know if you can see right here, this little like bulge. That's the liner in the sports bra. That's not my boob, just so you all are aware. Not my deformed boob. Honestly, I don't feel like there's that much of a difference. I feel like I'm just as secure, if not more, without wearing a sports bra. Like, I, I really don't think it does anything for me. And then, can you see the sports bra through the back? Yeah, a little bit. So that's what it would look like, assuming you would wear one with this. And I think that just looks like messy. I don't like that. Maybe you might, maybe you wanna show your bra underneath your workout clothes, more power to you. I don't like that. I, it's still cute. I just, I would prefer to wear this with no bra and I'd be fine. I'm gonna get my use out of this for sure, but I really like it and it's really breathable. Next two items we have are actually by the same line and I can tell you which line it is because it is on the back of them. Gymshark's Kendra Catherine collab. I wasn't sure I was gonna like these, but I wanted to try them on my body before I said no. They're not seamless. I just really liked the color of this one, this mint kind of color. This band is extremely tiny. I usually like to have really thick bands, but it's still not like very loose. It still has a lot of give to it, which is nice. I, I just don't know how they're gonna look on my body. It has the stitching of seaming right here in the front that looks like the men's boxers, which I do have a pair like that, but they're not from Gymshark. I think they're like Fabletics. I do like those, but I don't know how these are gonna look on me. So it has the little emblem right here but then not only do we have stitching we also have ruching and i'm not really a fan of ruching like the little ruching in highlighter shorts that's fine because it was like this big i don't like all that i don't know we might have met our first return but i i really do like the color of it now these are the mint leggings i'm not gonna go into too much detail because they're literally the same as the other pair they're just in a mint color which i do very much so like the color it's the back of them they're really nice super cute cute color this would like if i got this top in a white that'd be a cute fit yeah they feel the same as the other ones they're cute we're looking snatched just a little bit though also if you want to make note of the kendra catherine leggings i would really splurge on these because i don't know if they're still going to be on sale once this video gets uploaded I believe I spent like 14 or $15 each on these pairs. Clearly I don't have them on anymore, but I didn't even notice the ruching in it like when I had them on. So if you're not a big fan of ruching and you like still wanna get these, I would say get these. Cause I, I didn't even notice it. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I definitely did not. I didn't feel it and my butt still looked good. And that's all I'm really concerned about. So that's one of them I got from the Kendra Catherine collection. The other thing is also a pair of leggings and they're also like a peachy orange they're not peachy but it's another orange shade color they're exactly the same as the mint ones were they feel exactly the same too but we have our stitching and that's what the back looks like listen the difference between these two like it could go either way for me i feel like if anything out of the duplicates i bought i'll keep these two if i do end up liking them on my body because like they're the same they're in the same color family they're both some sort of orange but they're different i have a lot of things to say about these so first of all miss turmeric i love the color like i don't own any color of leggings like this for the gym so i love that they feel very snug on me and like i was worried about before i don't mind the little v stitching it doesn't bother me maybe that's because they're not like all the way up my crotch. I think they look fine. There's nothing like wrong with it. That is what the stitching on the side of it looks like. 
these are also squat proof obviously you see nothing and then that is the back of it i don't know how good it makes my ass look or like lack thereof but you can be the judge of that i think they feel fine i think you know my butt's actually in the seam so that's fine the one thing i just want to say i feel like i'm wearing paper mache on my crotch like that's how thin i feel like they are in the front we're gonna get a little tmi here but if you like to go commando in the gym probably not the best idea for these it's not that anyone would see anything besides like maybe some stubble because i feel like that would definitely poke through like it, i can't explain to you how lackluster of a layer there is on that part like there's just like nothing here i feel like one false move <laughs> if i rip it everything's coming out the seams they don't bother me like i thought they were going to i think they're nice it's just i feel like i have no support in this area other than that they're pretty cute i haven't even gotten this out the package and it feels so nice now before i show you what i have in my hand the last two things are from the like athleisure section so it's not really meant for the gym the review said they are not squat proof so i'm not even going to test that out for you guys so it's this very pretty crystal blue or like almost ocean blue it feels so nice it's like cotton material almost again we have a i don't want to say thick band like medium sized band but it feels like it has a good give to it so i always appreciate that and then the bottom of the pants are like waffle knit so i'm just really excited for these i love a good waffle knit material so i'm really excited to try these on i think these with like a white mock neck or just a hoodie like to go out and run errands in would be so cute but what's really getting me is like the bottom of these pants let me show you so we have our cute little gymshark logo on the i think this is the inside of the leg right there but they look like fucking like a onesie for babies like why does it look like that <laughs> or like a sock i don't know it feels so nice though it feels like it would be really breathable and i can see why they're not squat proof other pair of the athleisure are literally the same thing they're just shorts like i'm not kidding they're actually the same thing same material quality everything Ooh, i like this band more though the only difference is the band and these shorts don't have the fucking baby onesie bottoms the difference in the band this is just like a regular cotton band and then this has the waffle knit the stitching on the butt is not that noticeable i don't know if the same is for the leggings yeah same thing so i like that and then it has that same little like patchwork of the gymshark logo these are the athleisure shorts so once again they do stop at like right above my knee just like the other biker shorts ones did <laughs> yeah not a fan of those again but i was kind of like playing around with them it's a lot easier with the waffle knit ones to like kind of pull them up if i don't want them to be that low you can obviously tell i scrunched them but they feel fine i don't feel like my circulation's being cut off when i was putting them on the texture of them going up me it felt so rough it's a cute thing to throw over sweatpants or you could wear them by themselves and i'm pleasantly surprised the band is not suffocating at all i feel like i can have a big dinner and not feel like suffocated by these so this is what they look like from the back they do have a seam but i think my butt's not in it so you know but they're really cute they stand on the bed for you guys so you can see the shorts that they're actually shorts so yeah i scrunched that up a little bit but normally that is how long they go ain't no way i'm walking out of the house looking like that just wearing them as normal i don't think they're very see-through but it's when i squat that like stuff starts happening so last try on of the night these are the full length leggings in the athleisure even though the shorts were not squat proof i did like kind of squat over it in the mirror and for some reason they're not as like see-through as the shorts were which i find weird because i'm assuming they're like cut from the same cloth if it's the same thing but they're really not see-through so i if anything you could get away with wearing these in the gym if you want to take a gamble that's on you i don't think i'd wear these to the gym anyway though because i still got that same strange feeling and sensation pulling them up these are a lot more itchier though i don't know if it's because they're not just on the top of my thighs like i just feel like i should like don't worry, I have not forgotten the bottom of these leggings I've been making fun of all day. So I'll show you what they look like from the back and then I'll stand up on the bed. It's the back of them. I don't know if you can honestly really even see, but 
they're not as bad as i thought they'd be it's just longer in the front and then the back's like how regular leggings cut off we have a cute little mr shark logo on the back right here somewhere also just a quick little side note if you do buy these and you do want to end up like scrunching them up so they're not baggy at the bottom you probably will get a camel toe because I did right when I put them on my body. My body was just like, nope. But other than that, they're really nice. I think I like the leggings a lot more than the shorts. So I don't know if I'm going to keep both of them or just the leggings. If I had to pick one, it would be the leggings. So I'm going to give you my like ending, concluding thoughts. What I'm going to keep and what I'm probably not going to keep. So obviously the top I've been wearing this whole time. This is definitely a yes. I definitely want to get it in the other colors that they offer because it's just a really nice top cherry cola colored pants and the brown and dark brown i'm definitely keeping both of those oh i'm also keeping both of the kendra collection ones because they're very different colors i'm also keeping the sports bra even though it's a little tight i think i'm just gonna have to play around and readjust the straps on them but in the future, I definitely do want to get more of these because I know for a fact they had this in pink and white. And I wanted them so bad, but they were sold out. So maybe next time around, I'll get those in a large and see the difference. Obviously keeping these leggings. And I'm also keeping the 7 eighths leggings that are reminiscent of my Nike ones. Rest in peace. My maybes pile that I have to think about. The shorts, waffle knit, RNG contoured leggings there's nothing wrong with them i just don't know if i need two different oranges so then these i like i don't really care for them just because of the length everything else about them are fine i want to keep these just so i have matching bottoms to go with that top because i don't have anything this obnoxious so i might as well just fucking keep them the other black biker shorts i'm not sure i really need them i'm gonna have to double check and see how much they cost me if they were like Pretty pricey, I'm probably gonna return them. If not, I'll just keep them. I have another extra black pair, but that's pretty much it. So I'll definitely be wearing these to the gym. You'll probably see them in my gym reels. I haven't done one since like last year, so I'm really excited to do those again. It'll be exciting to have some new fits to go to the gym and make me feel like confident and just excited to actually get ready and go because that's always a problem. <laughs> so that's the end of this week's video. I hope you guys liked it and I hope it inspired you to get back in the gym, start your 2023 right, do as I say, not what I do because I haven't been to the gym yet this year. If you liked this video, as always, make sure you leave a big like, subscribe if you're not already, and if you are, make sure the post notification bell is on. Oh, and by the way, if you didn't know, if you're a new watcher, I always post Sundays at 5 p.m. Feel free to come back here whenever you like, stay as long as you like. I'll see you guys next week or somewhere else on the internet. Thank you for watching. Bye. Superstar, superstar, superstar.